folks, Cal Kellogg here of the Fish Sniffer Magazine. I wanted to talk about hoochies today, or more specifically, about wiggle hoochies. Um, they're just crazy looking lures, but they are deadly effective on trout, kokanee, and king salmon. Now, if you're not familiar with a wiggle hoochie, what I'm talking about, and I'll hold some of mine up close to the camera here, I'm talking about hoochies that have the attached swimming blade connected to them. Now, most folks that do a lot of trout trolling or kokanee trolling, they're familiar with the wiggle hoochie. Now, you can buy them pre-rigged. I get mine from Max Lure. Um, they acquired Shasta Tackle, and that's Gary Morales' wiggle hoochie. Um, you can buy them, they're pre-rigged, come out of the package, put them in the water, and start catching fish on them. Or, you can order the, the diving bills um, separately. I really like building my own hoochie, so I get to build separately, and what I end up with, I end up with some really cool looking hoochies. I mean, look at this one here. This is just blue over silver awesomeness. I've got this one here. I love this one for, for rainbow trout. It's orange. I don't know if you can see that that great. It's orange over gold. Um, here I've got a Max Lure hoochie, a little, a little copper hoochie um, attached to the blade, and these all have the uh, double hook rigging. They're all rigged on 12 pound test fluorocarbon line with two octopus hooks and I ran with the red hooks. But what I wanted to do today is show you how to rig your own wiggle hoochies and just really come up with some some primo wiggle hoochies. So here we go. Down here, I keep reaching down here, I've got a whole box of hoochies. I've got all different colors but I'm going to show you my favorite combination for rainbow trout. Now, we all know rainbow trout love chrome stuff, they love pink stuff. So what I like to do, I like to combine a bright uh, pink hoochie with a silver flash hoochie. These are actually silver hoard, I think they call these mini sardines, but they're pretty standard hoochies. Um, the color on them is just fantastic. So I've got one kind of rigged up here. I'll kind of walk you through it. What I have, let's start with the hook. This one, and I haven't, haven't got this all put together yet so I could show you. This one is built with a single hook. I've got a trocar river style hook on there. That is, that, that's just a nasty hook. You come knocking on that, you're gonna have a problem. You're gonna get that embedded in your jaw. And you are not getting away. I've got that uh, snelled onto 12 pound test fluorocarbon line. Not too heavy, not too light. It's a little stiff, but I want some power. I'm, I'm hoping to catch a big five or six pound rainbow on this rig, so you know I don't want to go too light. After I put on the hook, I slide on several, make sure I got them all down there. I think I got, no, I got a couple more up there. Well, there's, you can see three of them there. I've actually got on, there's the rest. I've got on five or six beads. What that's gonna do is that's gonna give me some space between the hoochie and the hook. I want that hook right at the back of the skirt. When they come nipping at the back of that hoochie, I want them to get the hook. I don't want the hook all buried inside the skirt. So those beads, that's the only purpose they serve is to give me a little setback on that hook. Next. I slide on a pair of hoochies, silver under the pink, and just kind of mate them together best I can. Get it all adjusted once it's all together. And the final thing that goes on the line is the wiggle hoochie bill right there. It has a hole in the back here, and it has another hole up here, so you thread the line through the back, underneath here, and out through this hole, and then I just have a, a, a double overhand loop knot right here. And that's where I'm gonna attach my snap. That's going up to the rod. I'm gonna attach that to a good trolling snap so I don't get a bunch of line twist. That's all I need. I could run this with a dodger. I typically, 95% of the time, I'm running these things by themselves just like I would an Apex or any other kind of hard wiggling lure. So. Let's put this all together. First thing I need to do is slide that blade, or that bill rather, down to that hoochie, 
and I'll hold this up to the camera. I'm going to give it a little squeeze. You can see that is, uh, it's tapered. There's a hard lip on it on the back side. So we'll get this in here, kind of work it down over the first hoochie, and then get the second one lined up on it. Do the same thing there. Work it, work it on there till it kind of snaps in place. You'll feel it go over that lip. Once you get it there, you're good to go. Looks like that. Then I'm just going to work that down, work those beads up inside there. Oh boy, look at that. Dynamite. That is a rainbow trout killing machine right there. It's chrome, it's pink, lots of action, a big secure hook. That, that's just a fish killer there. So anyway, that's how you can build some really cool hoochies of your own. You can go, you know, pink on pink, pink on orange. Um, the combinations, I mean, you can just go on and on. Here's a real winner um, for king salmon. I really like to go with the blue, uh, blue sparkle hoochie over a chrome hoochie, like the one I used with that uh, pink skirt just now, or if you're going down a little bit deeper, you can go with the same blue sparkle and put that over the top of a white glow. Um, it's just, uh, it's like mixing paint. I mean, uh, it's it's just a, a lot of fun. Hoochies are cheap, you get all the colors. Here's my buddy's favorite right here. He likes to run with the ever popular um, army truck that's kind of pink silver black and green and he'll run that over the top of a pearl glow just like that so anyway mix and match team them with that wiggle hoochie blade you can order those directly from max lure and uh, you'll come up with some combinations that you have a lot of confidence in and you're going to catch a lot of fish on them that is a that's just an overlooked lure it looks crazy in the water but uh, trout salmon they, they just can't seem to lay off of it. And uh, a final note, squirt some Procure in there. Whatever your favorite scent is, I like to go with bait fish scents and uh, get ready to yell fish on. I'll catch you next time. This is Kel Kellogg signing off. Lucy, leave those goats alone. <laughs>